Hi there, I'm called Adrian. The 12 biochemic tissue salts have been absolute game changers in my life, my family's life, friends and family I've shared them with, and also our pets, be it in me recently with a shingles attack that I used them to pretty much turn into a non-event, got rid of the pain within a week, never had the, uh, the blisters and the scabs and all the rest of it, just disappeared. Or an elderly cat who's 15 years old, one of my daughter's cats, who had a chest infection, he was sneezing, blood, etc. And we treated him with the tissue salts and he was right as rain in fairly short order and continues to soldier along as he does. Now, I've done a long video about this with a friend of mine, Steve Falconer. I put a web page together all about the tissue salts. I do think they're that important. But in this one, I just want to give you a very quick, simple overview and a quick guide to tell you which each one is for, so you have a reference for this. And I'll put a link to the web page in the description of this video if you want to go and take a look at that and some other videos. So what I'm going to do here is just read some information to you from the Helios homeopathy brochure that came with the last batch of tissue salts I bought from them. What are the tissue salts? Tissue salts, sometimes known as biochemic tissue salts or mineral cell salts, are the result of the outstanding scientific vision of the 19th century doctor, chemist, and physicist, Dr. Wilhelm Schussler. Dr. Schussler expanded upon the work of his scientific forefathers, who had already laid the foundation of what Schussler was to term biochemistry. The results of his revolutionary work, and the basic principles upon which the tissue salts were founded, focuses upon the idea that if the balance and harmony of the 12 naturally occurring minerals in the human body is disturbed or diminished, symptoms may arise. If the blood lacks the necessary quantities of these essential minerals, then the body is not able to effectively repair itself due to the lack of mineral resources needed for the building of new and healthy cells. If there is a disturbance to these vital minerals' ability to do their work of repair and maintenance around the body, this will invariably cause symptoms. Dr. Schussler recognized that by preparing the deficient mineral in a homeopathic form to be absorbed easily in the mouth, this would stimulate the body's own healing response to ensure the maintenance of normal cell function and therefore good health. So that's a really nice little summary of this. These are basically the things that your body is made of. And I'm pretty certain at this stage that this is exactly what your body is trying to extract from the foods that we eat in order to build itself up. Of course, it's not present in many of the foods now, but that's the topic of another, well, a very large discussion. Now, let me just interject really quickly. I read these two books, this one by George Dodi Carey and Inez Eudora Perry, The Zodiac and the Cell Source of Salvation. These are very big uh, textbooks, very dry reads in this one, The Biochemic System of Medicine by George Washington Carey and Wilhelm Heinrich Schussler the guy we just mentioned. Great books, and I actually go through this. There's hundreds of pages, and I read them from cover to cover, and you can refer to them in the back to various symptoms and the correct salts to take. And on that webpage I referenced, you can find a link where you can have a read of that on archive.org if you want to take a look at it or buy your own copy. Now what I'm going to do is just go through each of the individual 12 salts and give you an indication of what they are used for. Tissue salt number one, calc floor. It's been traditionally used for bones and connective tissues, tooth enamel, hemorrhoids, varicose veins, and cracked skin. A good way to think of this is as an elasticity booster. It keeps everything stretchy and strong. Salt number two, calc foss. For bones, especially fractures, teething issues, digestion, and during convalescence. A good way to think of this one is of the builder of strong and healthy bones. It's also really good for teeth if you're having teeth problems. Number three, calc sulf. The skin purifier for catarrh, spots, the healing of minor wounds or abscesses. So this one's a really good one for things like skin blemishes, spots, etc. and slow healing wounds. It's particularly good if you use it with silicea, which we'll get to in a minute. Salt number four, ferrum foss, used for early stage of inflammation, feverish ailments such as sore throats, temperature, colds, muscular sprains, and strains. You can think of ferrum foss as a way of strengthening the terrain of the body. It's a first aid salt, 
and it's really good for your body's defense systems. It supports circulation and oxygen delivery. Salt number five, Cali Myrrh. Used for catarrhal conditions with thick white mucus, minor respiratory illnesses such as coughs, colds, and sore throats. Think of this as the mucus mover. It's going to help loosen thick mucus and phlegm and help also reduce your body's natural fluid balance. Number six, Cali Foss. Ailments from nervous exhaustion during convalescence, headaches or digestive disturbances caused by nervous tension. You could think of this as the ultimate nerve tonic helping to restore calm, focus and energy when stress has left you feeling wiped out. Number seven, Cali Sulf. Catarrhal conditions with yellow and sticky mucus, scaly eruptions on the skin and scalp. So you could think of dandruff there. And this keeps the skin, scalp and mucous membranes hydrated and functioning properly. Number eight, and one of my favorites, MAGFOS. Cramp, muscular spasms and twitching, cramping and spasmodic pains such as menstrual cramps, neuralgic pains. I found this one personally to be particularly good that for years I was getting really bad cramps in the night and using a lot of magnesium oil topically has really helped that. But still there have been the odd times where I get cramps. Since taking MAGFOS, I sleep so much better and I simply don't get the cramps in my feet and the backs of my legs anymore. So you could think of this one as a muscle relaxer. It's also particularly good to use after strenuous muscle exertion. Number nine, Nat Myrrh. Elements arising from imbalance of water and distribution. For example, dry or watery eyes and nose, hay fever and constipation. Think of this one as a water balancer. It helps regulate the water's balance. And it can also support those experiencing deep fatigue, mood swings, or fre frequent tearfulness. Number 10, Nat Foss, heartburn, acid reflex, and indigestion. Think of this as like a, an acid harmonizer. So if you've got excess acidity, this can help maintain a balanced internal pH. Nat Sulf, biliousness from poor digestion, mild fevers associated with flu-like symptoms. You could think of this as well as a detox for your liver. Nat Sulf helps the body eliminate excess water and supports the liver in processing toxins and metabolic waste. Now, I don't have the relevant page in the book handy, but I'm pretty certain I read that this is particularly useful in treating malaria. And the final one is Cilicia, brittle or falling hair, brittle nails, the separation of boils and abscesses. I've heard of this referred to as the surgeon and the spade. Think of it as a deep cleanser. It pushes out toxins, foreign materials and impurities from the skin, aiding in the clearing up of boils, abscesses and acne. It's a bit like having a scouring pad on the inside. And then the final one is one I take every day as well, which is a melange, a combination 12, which is complete support. It's all 12 tissue salts in a single remedy, offering a full spectrum mineral support. These are incredibly gentle, they're rapidly absorbed, they're non-toxic, they're convenient in home or on the go, I carry them when I travel, and they really help your body stay resilient, energized, and balanced. I hope that was useful. There's a lot more information in these next videos here, and if you want to pop across the website at some point, you can find even more information, more videos, links to the books I referred to to buy, links on archive.org so you can have a look at at least one of the books. I think there's two books actually on there, so you can have a look at them on there. And there's also a discount code if you want to try these cell salts with Schussler salts or a link to Helios Homopathic, who I buy my cell salts from. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.